Magic Monday unboxing and today's unboxing is a huge giant package from Daimoon Shop. Now I went a little crazy I'll be honest and I got all of the witches that I would love to get. <laughs> this is the first of two Halloween Daimoon Shop um, purchases. They had an amazing sale that was 20% um, off their Halloween paintings as well as um, I did have an affiliate code and so I did um, take advantage of those so you will be seeing quite a few Halloween unboxings from Diamond Shop um, but let's get into this um, I am going to probably fast forward the getting into this because you guys all know that takes 10 million years Well, <laughs> nobody can say that wasn't packaged extremely well because that was crazy a little bit to open it up, but it was just so well packaged in this, this foamy um, protective wrap around the canvases. Okay, so this is the part that the canvases are and they've tied it with a nice little wrap. Um, and let's get into this. Okay, so here we are with the basics of the package that are like the toolkits and just the little extras that I ordered. So they send this cute little package with um, some stickers in it. I always think it's fun because they've been so diverse, the different stickers that I've gotten. <laughs> Today, it looks like I've gotten some flowers. I've got a scrunchie and a butterfly, which are cute. I always look for um, opportunities to put these different stickers that I get in my log book just to kind of like dress it up. So these are the toolkits that they provided with my order and you actually can ask for them to not send um, toolkits if you already have enough and I do. I have, I have enough. I just forget to tell them. But what you will get if you don't is um, a bunch of pink pens with seven placers and these um, basically white moths. Moth, I don't know. You know, these ones don't have a name, so I don't know if they're like a, an off brand, but a white tray and some wax. And you just basically get a whole bunch of that. I think depending on your order, since I got... Um, seven large canvases um <laughs> I I got a lot of tools so um I think that's why I'm, I'm not thinking if you order just one canvas you'll get this many that's what I was trying to say there okay um then there are these these little crystals that I wanted to just get some of their unique crystals that I haven't really seen anywhere else. So these are rose quartz and I got, I think I got two of these little vials. Um, I got a little extra of their lightning because um, let's see. <laughs> um, I got a, a extras of their lightning to go with one of the paintings that I'll show you. Um, I just wanted a little bit extra than the special treatments. Um, this one was interesting and I don't even know why. <laughs> I think I ordered, I ordered two party and that actually goes with one of the ones that I, um, but these are actually just like a mix of different crystals. If you're ever wondering why, I don't even think they actually sell it. I think you have to request these. So I'm not really sure why I did that. But it's neat that there's all these different bunch of colored crystals. Um, and I think that that will make sense when we look at the painting. I got two of these Alexandrite, this really pretty blue. And then um, these are the Fire Opal, which I thought were really neat. I was thinking, even if I don't use these ones, like in the paintings that I, I've gotten, um, I think they're a really neat tint. So if you know anything about me and my channel, I love to do special treatments and I like to do things um, 
extra on the canvases and so for me this was just kind of one of those things to get some of the crystals to look at them to experiment to compare and con contrast you know see if they um look like any different other crystals that you know so that i know as far as comparisons go okay um let's look at the very first one that we are going to look at which is blue valentine <gasps> look at this isn't she gorgeous i will be absolutely honest with you guys and tell you that um when i first heard of die moon shop um early or late last year i went onto the site and found two paintings that i absolutely loved the queen wore red and blue valentine i thought this one was so neat <laughs> Um, and perfect because like I've told you guys, the festival of witches has been in my mind, um, for a long time. And I just thought she's going to be one of my witches for a festival of witches. <laughs> um, so I am really excited to be able to work on her, um, at some point, but I just think there's something so neat about the blue hair. It looks so just looking at the canvas right now, the rendering looks so pretty and I think it's so neat. There's a skull right here. Um, I love that there's a black cat. Um, just, it's, it's just a really neat, wispy, kind of cool image. And of course, um, I had gotten this one just because I wanted to get it in its largest size so that I could get a good rendering of this. This is a 60 by 83 centimeter and I did get it in round. There are 30 colors on here and the symbols, they don't have them matched up with the Q numbers. Naughty. <laughs> um, I think most companies don't pay attention to that, but that's always one thing. It's a bonus for me if they respect the, the legend lines, which <laughs> I don't even think flies on their radar. I say that in every video, but, um, so this one, I think um, I, I was showing you up there that the printing is so clear on their new canvases. So their new canvases have this super nice velvety um, soft back, these scalloped edges that don't, um, I've, I've been working on a couple of their canvases that are this new canvas and it doesn't shed at all, which is so nice because I've been working on a couple, but you'll, you'll hear about those later. Um, so, um, let's look and I did show you the drill. Yeah, I did show you the drill filled and I think, um, if you're wondering if you can kind of see a bit of a line between it, that's not, um, like anything with the printing. That's just that the way that they're doing their new, um, canvas liners is that they, on these larger pieces, they're using actually two sheets of, um, of this, this plastic cover. So um, also if you're new to Die Moon Shop, they do have poured glue um, that is very sticky. Um, let's see, let's look, is there anything else? I just think, um, I love how their canvases are almost an artwork of itself, how they like put a border on it. <laughs> I think this one is going to be really neat. Let's look at the drills. So the drills are going to come in this bag right here. Look at how nice and upgraded the drills are. I know I've said this in like my last several videos, but I am so excited at the shiny drills that they are now have. Um, they've definitely taken the feedback and upgraded. One neat thing is they are now including an AB with every paint diamond painting. And now I have something to say about that because a lot of them, they are replacing the black 310. And um, I know in some of my earlier orders, I was a little concerned about there being just the only option was black 310. Um, Dime Moon Shop has actually now started including a bag of 310 in regular. So you can do either. You can put the ABs in or you can just use all where the AB color is charted. Um, you can just use your regular black 
um, drill and then decide where you want to put some some shininess if you want or you can go full bling make it fabulous <laughs> I'm stealing that um, comment from um, Stephanie drills our girl's best friend um, <laughs> said in a, <laughs> a live chat um, but this um so i just think that's really neat and you know i guess if you don't use all of that you do have extra ab's left over but i really do appreciate that they are including um these this extra bag of black for you to make that choice and you don't have to come up with your own black if you don't want the ab's um so and then of course they have this this paper sheet that tells you the symbol the dmc the amount in the bag now i'll be honest i think this ledger legend right here is a lot clearer than this printed one so um i have made copies of this this one that's on the canvas to basically make um into stickers to put on my storage but the neat thing about this is that they have now started bagging their drills and um, the drills are actually, the bags that they come in are a little bit thicker than your average. Just trying to see if there's a way to get in there easily. It's just a little bit thicker than your average um, bag that comes with a lot of companies. And what I think is really neat about that um, is that it reduces static in the bag of drills, at least for me. So when I've pulled out my drills for several of these um, upgraded canvases and the drills, I haven't had any static issues even though they're in bags like this. And I think it's because this is just a little bit thicker than a normal bag. Okay, I grabbed. So I don't know if you can see, but this one is so like so thin, whereas this one is a little bit thicker. You can almost see it. I don't know if you can, but it it doesn't <laughs> just, you know, like go crazy, like flapping around. I don't know, guys, okay, th these things are important to me, so that's why I go over them, but you, this might not even matter to you, and maybe you don't care about the bags. But I do think that if I ever do work out of bags, I absolutely need them in the little bit thicker plastic bags. Okay, so let's look and see though. I think that it's pretty evident where the black AB is going to go in this one. It's going, I mean the K, you can see it. It's the darkest color. A lot of it's underneath her hat. Um, that will be definitely really vibrant if you choose to do that. I tend to like the darker black, so I'm gonna take advantage of the just plain 310s that are in there. And come on, 310 is never just plain. <laughs> For those of us that love 310 DMC, um, it's, it's, you know, shiny is the best. Okay, let's look at the special treatments because I did get those. It's been going on long enough, I'm sorry. This one comes with a special treatment card. And so it looks like you're gonna put prism on the hat. You're gonna sprinkle and then party. So that's the sprinkle colors that I was showing you earlier on her little flower area there. And then Alexandrite on her ring. On um, Yeah, on her ring. And I bet you could even put some on her fingernails if you want. I wonder if you could put any in her hair. Um, so the drills that come with that are this prism and then we've got these party gems again so i'm i'm guessing you just kind of match the gems with the colors in the hat <laughs> the flower area um that should be interesting uh am i even showing this on the camera i just this has been a total fail it just wants to lay flat there so yeah, just mixing in some of the colors, I think um, that should be interesting. And then this, this blue color that's really pretty will go on the ring area. Now, um, I do have to say one of the things that I thought was that Prism was basically a black AB. And it is, 
but your typical black AB has a blue tint where Prism has a almost a red tint to it or an <laughs> orange tint. Ah, I should have showed you the back side so you can kind of see that they, um, I don't know, they're, they're just, they're different, interestingly enough. There is more of a redder tint in these Prism, in case you're wondering. Okay, this, this unboxing is already just <laughs> strange and different. I'm going all over the place, so let me know if these are the things that interest you or if I'm just being completely just random here. Okay, now the second one, your turn. This one is called Spellbind by Margaret Morales. Oh, she's so pretty. This is going to be just a color blocking craziness because this background is all this A and it that is 819. Um, that is going to be pretty, a nice light pink background. And I love the way the Dye Moon Shop just really renders Margaret Morales's work. Like they really capture the watercolor painting in their diamond paintings. It's so pretty. Um, let me grab the drills. So we've got them right here. And then let's see, I believe the 310 is the AB in this kit. Here are the colors. So this, this 819 is going to be your background. And then I do have the special treatments for this as well. So this one comes with pink quartz and that is just to go on the pink and purple areas, which that is a really pretty, the pink quartz you can kind of see has a pink purple tint to it. Um, Fire Opal is going to go beneath her hat. It says sprinkle underneath her hat. So I guess I'm thinking underneath in here. And then we have got gold sprinkle on the yellow areas. So I'm thinking that that means like this area. And I'm kind of thinking though that I might actually pull out my like sunshine sparklers or something like that and put them on this because I think that would be really pretty. So that is Spellbind. We don't want this forever long. This is the one that I have been so excited for. Okay. I lied when I said that there were two. There were actually three that I wanted in the beginning. And this was the third one that I've had my eye on. This is the Evil Queen. Um, this in the rendering does look um, this Bring Me Her Heart, which I guess is so dark and it's not typically me, but I just love this Medusa the Doll Maker's rendering of Snow White. Um, the evil queen and I've mentioned before that I have like a setup that's dedicated to like snow white like potion vials and things like that so I'm definitely planning to do this one and put that um, up there so this is a round and it is 60 by 85 the largest you can get it there are 36 colors here and the AB that comes with this one is this black but it does come with a huge bag of just regular 310 AB. You get your paper guide again, and then here are your drills. And it's going to be fun. This is the one that I actually grabbed a baggie out of because I could get this bag open easier than the other one. And um, this one that I just check again, it's sticky. This is very thin. I do have to tell you guys, this is a very, very thin covering. Um, I don't know um, if that makes much of a difference, like depending on like your taste or if it has like an actual functional thing <laughs> of why it matters, but um, it's it, it hasn't been a problem for me. Um, you know, it's like you just take it off anyway, but um, while you're working on it, of course. This is going to be like insane confetti heavy, like some of the other Daimoon shop ones that I've done with the background that's just every other. 
Um, and I, I find the rendering can be actually really neat um, doing that with the background. This one I think is just going to be so neat when finished and there's so many neat things. Now um, here is the special treatments and this is just the, the average special treatments which is a little bit more expensive than you're gonna usually pay for special treatments um, on this specific piece. What you get with it is um, electric to sprinkle on her collar and then on her cape brooch, I think is what they're saying. And then, no, I think it's just on the collar. And then this gold is going to be on, <laughs> on the booch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just, I don't know why that. <laughs> I, I love misspelled words. So maybe those, those things just crack me up because I struggle so much with it too. So anyway, um, this one's spelled right. It's just that one that is going to be on the booch. You can't see your booch. <laughs> um, that one's going to be on her crown and on this little area. And then this lightning is supposed to be kind of sprinkled around the background, like in various areas. So um, this could be like insanely crazy, though. Um, they have a special treatment that's like filled out and... Honest to goodness, it's like it's like a hundred bucks to get the special treatments to do the filled out one. And when I saw what they were doing with it, I was like, no way. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it was this back was insanely covered in these lightning, lightning drills. Um, the entire crown, like every detail, every square of the crown and the brooch were in the gold, and then this collar itself was going to be this electric diamonds. Now I've been like looking and seeing at some different things online to try to find some of equivalent um, <laughs> drills and things like that just because I like to use them so much and so how I can get them cheaper. Um, I don't know if I found a cheaper way but in the process I've gotten a lot of these electric diamonds so my plan on this one is to actually completely fill this out with, so to basically do the, the patchwork cover, I think I'm going to do old gold. Let me know what you guys think if you have an opinion, old gold or sunshine on the crown and on the brooch instead of this, this gold. And then, of course, I, I, I showed you I had bought a couple vials of the lightning, um, but I might want to put even more. And I think it'd be neat to maybe do this box in gold as well. Um, so anyway, I think I'm going to have lots of fun with this. This is just kind of like my dream projects. <laughs> If you guys can't tell, um, I have got three more large witches and then four small diamond paintings that are coming from Dime Moon Shop that are part of this Halloween haul that um, really I've just been so excited for and um, I hope you will stick around and keep watching. Um, make sure to give me a like and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!